guys, welcome to my first fight ever for IBJJF. Um, this past weekend, I competed in IBJJF Atlanta Open. Um, I was able to secure gold with four submissions um, and four matches. So this kind of how it went. All right, so off the bat, this Hulk of a man named Pablo is going to shoot this low single leg on me. He's going to get two points, and I'm going to fall on my back. I'm going to get a grip on a cross collar and that left sleeve and then force my leg through his hand and set up a triangle. So the next thing I'm gonna look to do is rock him forward just enough so I can grab my shin. So I'm not sure how viable this technique really is, but just the way my triangles evolved, this is the way that works best for me. I underhook the leg and then take them upside down. In my experience, which is not a lot, I've only been doing this for a year. As I take them upside down, I let them cook for a little bit and it just allows me to finish the triangle using a lot less energy while they're suffering the whole time. So after a quick victory in round one, we're going to start off with round two here. Um, as soon as he grabs my collar, I'm just like, oh, shit. Uh, this guy's grip was, was very authoritative. And his stance when he pulled guard, I haven't really seen that before. So that was that was pretty new. But he's going to pull guard. Um, he still has that hand on my collar, and I keep trying to break it. Uh, we're going to fight for the underhook right here. And he's going to end up standing up. And I'm just going to counter by sprawling and trying to break his grip on my pant leg. As we start to posture up, I'm going to go for a sneaky loop choke. However, it's not going to work because he's going to get his arm stuck and he's just going to be able to pull his head out right here. After that, I'm going to go for a single leg and end up just pulling guard. He's going to go right into passing. Um, I almost get past here like twice and it's very scary. He first went for the Toriando, now he's going for the double unders. As he stacks me and attempts to pass with the double unders, I'm going to get my knee stuck in there. And as we rotate, I'm able to get control of his right arm and then slip my left leg out for the triangle. Once I feel the triangle's locked, I'm just gonna underhook the leg and then go for my standard triangle setup. This time I'm actually gonna be able to finish him upside down and secure my second win, putting me into the semifinals for the Atlanta Open. Here we are for the third round of the Atlanta Open. So we're gonna start off this round. I'm gonna go for a single leg ankle pick and he's gonna like kind of pull guard and fall into it, but I'm gonna get the two points. Um, from here, I just get to do my favorite thing, which is guard passing finally. Didn't really get anywhere with this, but I had a lot of good attempts. At the moment, I think my guard passing in Nogi is a little bit better than my passing in Gi. I'm gonna put most of the blame on him being able to grip my collar and keep my posture down. It's just something that I haven't really figured out how to properly dispose of while I'm passing. Back to the match, I'm gonna go for a Toriando and kind of give like a half-assed back step. Um, again, he's gonna grip my collar and I'm gonna try to break that as much as possible. My left hand is then gonna go to his hip as I attempt a knee slice. However, I can't get the underhook and he's gonna be able to push me off. I can feel him going for a triangle, but again, that's my shit, so it's not gonna work. Realistically, I'm just gonna block the triangle with my knee. He's then gonna switch his hips and go for a scissor sweep, but I'm gonna keep my posture back and turn into it so he's not gonna be able to get the sweep. Um, from here, I'm just gonna keep breaking the De La Hiva hooks and then go for a long step pass. It was pretty horrific, but we're then gonna transition to an overstep and then try to swing around to the other side. I'm gonna get stuck in his guard and he's gonna lumberjack me. I attempt the lumberjack counters as seen in the Gordon Ryan instructionals, but I think I neglected to force my hips upwards. Due to that crucial mistake, he's gonna come up and get two points for sweeping and then four from out. I'm gonna attempt a hip bump right at the start. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna go for a second one right here and I'm able to get a single leg X. I think about the straight angle and then I think about how bad I am at it and I neglect it and go for the triangle. He's actually gonna defend it quite well and posture right out of it, um, but I'm gonna keep breaking his posture with my grip on his collar. I can feel how tired he is and from his last match, he was almost passed out on the ground after, so I know he's exhausted right now. My goal right now is just to be patient and stay calm and not use too much excess energy. He's gonna attempt an over under pass. I'm gonna sneak my right leg out and then lock up a triangle. I'm just gonna break his posture, attempt to grab my shin. However, similarly to last time, he's just gonna posture right up and he's actually able to break my triangle for a second time. As my triangle unlocks, he's actually gonna open up a double underpass. 
However, thankfully to Jeff Piercy, um, I'm going to origatami that arm and force him back into the triangle. This time, I'm actually going to be able to finish it. Um, I'm not going to be able to lock it up all the way, but he's already exhausted and tired. So all I got to do is pull on the head and to get the third victory. And here we are for the fourth and final round of IBJJF Atlanta. So we're going to start off, I pulled guard, he sneaks his knee through, and he starts working a pressure pass. This is undoubtedly my worst position. However, thanks to one of my homies named Adam, he actually gave me some tips on how to get out of this a few weeks prior to the tournament, and I was able to use that later in this video. Right now, there's a war going on between my right elbow and his left knee. I'm continuously trying to put my elbow in back into inside position, but he does a good job at keeping his knee in my armpit, negating my ability to do that. We're going to stay in this position for a little bit, but what's keeping me alive right now is that lockdown I have on his right leg. It's just allowing him to not press up and keep more pressure on me. Eventually, I am going to be able to get my right arm back in, and I'm going to be able to create a little bit of space. I'm going to get my left leg above his head, but I'm not able to pull my right arm out from beneath his legs. I can feel him going for the pass on this side. Um, I still have my half guard locked, which is helping me out, and I'm framing on his knee. I'm going to threaten a Kimura right here on his left arm, just to get him to move and react a little bit. I know it's not going to work, but it almost gives me enough space to get out. Right here is where Adam came in clutch. Um, I was able to use my left leg as a lifter to try and alleviate some of the pressure. Unfortunately, I can't create enough space, and he's going to go right back into a tight half guard pass. So he's going to go for an Ezekiel choke right here. This actually saves my life and he creates enough space for me to get out and reset my guard. Alright guys, now we're going to control that collar and his sleeve. He's going to slip his arm out and I'm going to throw my left leg around for the triangle. He has a great triangle defense by keeping me on my left side as I try to finish on the right side. So right here I'm going to pull on his head to try to get a reaction out of him. Um, I am going to get the reaction I'm looking for. He's going to attempt to stack me, and then in a moment, he's going to step up that left leg. From here, I'm going to underhook that leg and begin to invert. He actually gives me the leg by stepping over my head, which normally would be a defense, I think, but that's kind of what I'm going for. He realizes he's in danger, so he flips over to the other side, but lands on the right side of my triangle. He tries to sneak over back to the left but I force him over to the right and I'm able to secure the gold medal for my first ever IBJJF. For those of you still here at the end of the video, I just want to say I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for all of your support. My channel has grown almost double in the last month than it has in the last year, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. With that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.